Also, just bam, right in front of your salad. Just an amazing triple. <laughs> right in front of your salad. Welcome back to that figure skating show. Today, we have a treat. We are going to analyze, enjoy, pick apart, discuss some of my figure skating routines from my uh, figure skating career. That feels like a lifetime ago. Number one, we're going to do 2013 Worlds in London, Ontario, my free program with First and More Towers. We skated to a Queen Medley. This is before we were allowed to skate with lyrics, which is actually good because I really like the way it was done this way orchestrally and um, really enjoyed this program. It's probably one of my favorite that I've, I've ever done. I'm excited to watch really this. Fun. This is one of my favorite programs of yours as well. I missed. <laughs> Oh man, the the uh, the Chris and Christy haircut. <laughs> yeah, it was gone there though for me, which is nice, you know. Like I didn't have the uh, I didn't have the uh, the bottle of bleach that fell on my head. Um, <laughs> I mean, nice all, and au natural. We all we all miss the uh, highlighted Dylan, don't we? <laughs> do we? Do we? I don't. don't. Someone else does. Don't. That's great. Um, yeah, so this, this program, I actually liked so much, I asked if we should keep it for the Olympics, but uh, we are, you know, the ball was rolling um, and it was a good, it was a great program for us and kind of like a, a resubmergence after we had a, a pretty tough 2011-2012 season. Um, so this was Mark Pillay and uh, yeah, love this program. Also, as you can see, my nice billowy sleeves that I always had to have uh, because of my bent elbows, so I had to look like a pirate, oh, was generally that, speaking. I mean, got to cover up your flaws, but I thought it was just to make it look like you guys were flying. Person always likes to throw the jumps right in at the beginning. Like twist right into the jumps. It was kind of good. It was like, you know, build that energy up and get her done and then settle into the program. Also, just bam, right in front of your salad. Just an amazing triple. <laughs> right in front of your salad. <laughs> nice. So no carrots all. <laughs> Let us pretend that didn't happen. Anyways, back to the program. I really love that knee sliding move. That was probably one of the highlights of the program for me. This part was not, I always felt super sticky and it was like trying to match that music and it, didn't, it almost always worked. Also, in case anyone was wondering, in real life, the colors on my shirt and pants were more purple and matched her better. I just, for some reason, the TV change mine to blue. Dylan, you're so proud of, you're so good. Oh my God, he's an Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> also like, who is oh. that guy versus this guy, you know? Like, oh, feels. Uh, Feels. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I like, I like giving the feels. Uh, <laughs> I call it evolution. Yeah, I like giving the feels in the programs. I like. I also like to be a di diverse skater, like you were saying. You are. I like to, to try different styles and to try and connect with the music and tell a story. And, um, I believe the storyline in this program was that Kirsten was sick. Oh yes, here she's sick. Oh, she's sick. <sighs> Good save. A little off, a little off. 
Milwaukee. Yeah, like, Kirsten's like a cat. What I love about this is like what you know what we often talk about when we're watching pairs now is there's actually transitions, handholds, or weaving in and out uh, uh, with your patterns and your intricate holds. Okay, go off, Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> So funny watching this and then remembering what my legs felt like at this moment. <laughs> it's a little bit of PTSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like, oh my god, I put myself through this in front of all those people. <laughs> yeah, like, who, like, yeah, I remember always going crazy when you would do your carry lifts for like an entire round of the the perimeter of the rink. Yeah, I was giving her a break. You know, she did some throws. Girl worked hard. I've never thought of it like that, but true. That right leg, I'm sure it gets a little sore landing those throws late in the program. Give it a little rest. This was this was awesome. Like doing worlds in London, um, the the building was just insane. It was the crowd was electric. And when I did this lift, they were really helped me through that because that was. That lift is always very painful at the end of the program. And then that was it. That was the end of our program here. And we could barely hear the, the music. The crowd was going nuts. It's really uh, pretty whale? awesome skating at home. The whale. <laughs> the, doll, the whale. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I 100% cried <laughs> watching this. Um, I actually was able, I came to London. Um, I didn't watch every single thing, but I did watch the uh, pairs and I was weeping. It was oh, amazing. Thanks, and like you said, the crowd, the energy was just like electric. Um, amazing. Good yeah, it was fun. I, I would say that's one of my, uh, it's one of my favorite skating memories right there. Getting to, uh, getting to do that at home was pretty awesome. Skipping exactly one year forward. We're gonna do the, the free program from the 2014 World Championships. It's after Sochi Games. Actually, my last competition skate with Kirsten. And this was uh, Fellini medley. I'm Fellini myself. Fellini myself. Fellini. <laughs> so, looking back on this one, um, wow, shaved face. Weird. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember a how um, difficult it was to prepare for a Worlds after the Olympics. Um, I remember people telling me it was very challenging and it was, it was hard. I was really, really proud of um, how hard we worked to, you know, even after that to get ready for this. And this was also probably the biggest crowd I had skated in front of, maybe in my career, it was 18,000 people sold out top to bottom. Wow. Was this in Saitama? Yeah. Okay. There it is, that jump right off the twist again. Just money. <laughs> <laughs> Except you don't make money in skating. <laughs> Help me, I'm poor. <laughs> Help me, I'm poor, but I'm wearing expensive outfits. This is why I'm poor. <laughs> I, I really like this program. I had a lot of character. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to wear tight, multicolored like shirts from uh, American Apparel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it, it works. Like, it's, I'm just gonna wear like nice ethically sourced materials and that's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Be minimalist, you know. I like this part. A little flirtatious playing back and forth. Yeah. I think pair spins are the worst part of pair skating. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. It's the height difference, and then it's just, I don't know. 
It, there's just too much going on. This part was fun. This was like, I was playing with her. She she walked down a dark alley and got lost and she's all scared. And I'm like, hey, silly, I'm right here. All is well. That, that was kind of like our storytelling thing that we would say to each other. <laughs> uh, Man, she could just smoke a throw landing. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere in Europe. <laughs> It's funny, like, seeing these pieces and remembering the way the music changes made you feel and also what they meant to you in the middle of a program. It's, oh, it's like, I'm almost there. This is this next part's really going to hurt. Just breathe. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting, like, the intimate relationship you develop with a program by the end of the season. Yeah, you, you have, your, like, your little markers of where you're going to, where you know it's, like, time to, like, you're going to feel it, but you just got to push through it. And, like, you're kind of skating with nothing in your head, but just feeling. Yeah, totally. And also the little, like, stories you tell yourself to get through. Like, you, you know, even the way you count, like, oh, four elements left. <laughs> and did you, uh, were you, like, vocal uh, with Kirsten? Did you like to talk to your partner? Uh, we would have talked a little bit, only like if it was needed. We'd usually like in the, in the pair spin, in the pair sit, we'd usually say like, good job to each other. Cause we were like face to face and that would be it. I mean, this is like our, our fifth year together. Right. So we're pretty in sync by this point. That might have been one of my bigger celebrations. So, ah, yeah. Yeah. Give me your arm. <laughs> Give it to me. I mean, that's the fine. We got, we got a small medal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a small medal on that one. That's, that is a world medal, bro. You have one. That's I guess so, yeah. I never, I never consider that. But High I five, that's... bro. Thanks, man. Small medal crew. I think I have, a, I have a small medal from Four Continents. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, we should we should start wearing them. They're really, really like they're actually they're really, really small. If, if they fall off, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> you can't find it's like them. wearing it's like wearing a nickel on a ribbon. It's a hundred percent. When I yeah. got it, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Let's move on to uh, my final partnership with uh, the lovely Miss Lubov Ilyushetskina. This is our 2016 short program. So this is in uh, Boston World Championships. This program was um, actually a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We got to skate to Led Zeppelin, uh, David Wilson, and um, and uh, Tuffy actually uh, did this together. And it was a lot of fun to kind of do something different. I love skating the blues and um, having that rock vibe. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was also interesting to see Luba kind of open up to this. It's not something she'd ever skated to before. Um, and also, interestingly, before this competition, I hadn't done a full run through since Four Continents. So like six weeks or seven weeks even. I had a tear in my hip and I couldn't do full run throughs or jump for like six weeks. So we, we showed up at Worlds and I just like hail married it. My jumps were pretty, my jumps were muscled to begin with. I didn't, I wouldn't say I had like smooth, easy jumps, but like they were, they looked like tornadoes. So, uh, but this short program was pretty good actually. So let's take a look.
a good twist. Oh, Luba. Crushed it. She crushed it. That was a sick triple tail. We're moving. We're actually skating pretty fast. It's so interesting to, especially to watch myself in like direct comparison from two years prior with a different partner, different choreographer, different coaches. It's kind of fascinating. I really do like uh, the power on the attack. Oof, my. Uh, and then just the the intimacy, especially well, Lubov always has, has always been like a good, like artistic skater. Yeah, she gives her. Uh, of, so course funny I, I, of course, you too. You look amazing, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm watching a little bit more. <laughs> well, that hurts. Sorry. I'm even wearing pleather pants for you. Even she's giving sex appeal. <laughs> All right. Well, you you go, Luba. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, look at those rockers and catters, Dill. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, you know, like. I did. I had to follow your terms. So, this I loved. That was really cool. Damn, damn. That's an entry. That, yeah. that was a Luba idea when we first started skating together. She's like, I have suggestion, and it it ended up in our program, and people loved it. It sucked when we didn't time our our prep properly because just just That's miss her. She's just like gliding there by herself. <laughs> when it worked, it was really good. I have to take out my uh, my uh, knee drag entrance into the lift because my hip was so messed up. But in the end, it was still the same level, just uh, less of a flex, you know. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh gosh! I would give you a all start. right. But then my crotch would be in the camera. I'd find some money to throw at you through the screen. Can I e-transfer you? Can I e-transfer you then? Does that work that way? <laughs> Those were a few moments of my figure skating career. And uh, thanks for coming along and, and joining, uh, you know, our little show of analyzing my skating. Thanks, Ash, for watching with me and your lovely supportive comments. Um, I am always your biggest fan. On the ice, off the ice, competitive, non-competitive here at this job. It's so sick, so cool to be watching you. It's Again, it's so good to go down memory lane. Even the, the first one, I did start tearing up again because I just, ugh. The music, the performance, everything was just mint. You're amazing, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, get, leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought. Be nice. Don't be nice, whatever. My self-esteem can take it now. It's all good. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back.